Hi, it's so nice seeing you again. And if you're new, nice to meet you. So today we're at the world's largest sporting goods store, which is Shields in Colony, Texas. And my in-laws are, are in town and we're just, you know, hanging out with them and we drink a little bit, eat and just play some games. Okay. Todo got in un carta. But don't look at it. No la puede ver, eh? She really <laughs> loves it. Oh, no, como que no. Got it out there, nueva. Got it out there, nueva. No me la voy a poner si no la puedo ver. La tiene que agarrar así y ponérsela así. Porque si usted la ve, ya perdió. Porque tiene que adivinar lo que agarró. Yes, maybe you already asked that. Can I use it every day? You can. Yeah. Is it a chair? No. No, it has wheels. What? <laughs> no, you already asked that. It's not a food? No. <laughs> How do you do it? Oh, use it wheels. Come on. Next day, I'm at work. It was really nice to see my mother in law, my brother in law, sister in law, my sister in law is actually in fact pregnant with their first child so i'm gonna be an auntie also look at these glasses y'all so as y'all know sometimes i'll be wearing my glasses oh the bottom me but and then but like these sunglasses first of all i'm not really the type to wear big sunglasses i usually like radi um radiators uh, usually i like aviators but since i do wear glasses you know i'm trying to wear bigger ones and these really come my eye and they fit like perfectly over my glasses they don't move they stay on like, i can move my head and like they don't go anywhere like i get such batty vibes like yes i'm at work i'm ready to get this day over with because i am a little tired since we stayed up a little bit later than usual but it's okay because i ain't complaining i ain't complaining let's just get this day over with yeah hey guys i'm just jumping on here real quickly because this week has been kind of hard i've been i haven't been able to keep up with my workout schedule i haven't been getting that much sleep and not that good of sleep and yeah there's just been some personal stuff going on uh lately in my job i've been working six days a week and it's like really wearing on me now even though some days are not full days it's just really <laughs> getting to me now and this week I had to record one of my videos five different times because I'm a dumbass and so all those things combined yesterday I just kind of like last night just <laughs> got had a little breakdown I was just crying in the bathroom because I just couldn't deal with anything and my eating hasn't been that well either like I've just been slacking so all I've been eating pretty much this whole week is rice and beans which is really nothing wrong with it but I'm I like to have variety I like to have you know different stuff but I've just been so tired and not been up to it that I've just been eating rice and beans but Oscar's really good about talking me down and you know yesterday he was just telling me like well at least you did some and not nothing and then with the video you, he said you know babe like there's gonna be struggles, there's gonna be ups and downs when it comes to like the YouTube thing. Cause I got new equipment too and I've been trying to figure that stuff out. It's just, just a lot of stuff y'all, just a lot of stuff. But I just thought I would share because you know, sometimes it's not easy having routine and stay consistent because I've been doing really good. And then we don't stay consistent. I just feel like it really messes me up and makes me think that I'm a failure and I can't do it but that's just like the bad stuff talking like you know Bianca you like you're all right girl like quit being so hard on yourself so as y'all can see this past week was a roller coaster of emotions but but you know what stuff like that is normal stress is normal it happens and a different Bianca would have handled that differently you know and I'm just so proud of myself because I am that I was able to realize this time, oh hey, I'm feeling this. I'm gonna let my feel I'm gonna I'm gonna let myself feel this way. And then you know what? The next day I was feeling a lot better. And one of the things that's really helped me too is talking about it. Like actually, you know, and talking it out, I mean, you know, talking to whoever you can. Like Oscar, he's always helping me finding solutions to my problems. Or even talking to the camera now is I feel it's very therapeutic. I don't know, something just saying your problems out loud and letting yourself feel them and then trying to come up with solutions has just made a big difference for me. 
And so I know what some of y'all are here for. Y'all ready for that monthly weigh-in? So let me give it to you. And I just want to say, smaller doesn't equal better. That's not what I'm trying to say in these videos. That's not what I'm trying to do with this journey. When I stopped focusing on the weight loss and when I started prioritizing, you know, my mental health first, educating myself, and staying consistent with my movement, I've realized that my body does some pretty awesome stuff. Like I've noticed like during my yoga, I can do longer sessions now. I have more strength and I can keep up. And before I would be so out of breath, but now like I can really control my breath. When I'm working out, I can go longer. I can go up to 75 minutes now. And before that used to be a real challenge, but now I'm realizing I'm doing that more and more frequently because I'm incorporating more exercises. I'm really, you know, trying to utilize my time the best that I can when I am trying to work out. And just simply, you know, looking up new uh, new meals and new recipes and trying out different stuff. And you know, and just having fun with my food. And I'm just really hella proud of myself. Like I really am. And I'm just, it just amazes me what our bodies can do. And okay, now I know what some of y'all really here for. Y'all ready for that tea? That tea. Well, I, when this whole body positivity movement started, I thought it was, you know, for amputees or, or skin decolorations or, you know, things you couldn't change about yourself, but you're allowed to love yourself and, you know, feel good about yourself. And then I've noticed in the past couple of years, it's been kind of more, how do I put this, an excuse to not take accountability. And I'm not trying to sound mean, but uh, I've noticed in the body positivity movement, they see weight loss as a bad thing. They see wanting to better yourself as hate or being fat phobic. And I just think that's just a little bit ridiculous. And I also just don't appreciate that they put, they push the mes message of health at every size. Because I, my heaviest, I did not feel healthy. Granted, I didn't know what healthy was because I was very restrictive when I was younger. And then, you know, in my adulthood, the beginning of my adulthood, I was very just eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And that's not a good thing either. So for them to push health out at every size just kind of triggers me just a little bit because, and I'm not saying that, oh, just because you're bigger, you deserve less respect. No, that's not what I'm saying at all because we're all humans at the end of the day. We all have struggles. We all need to have sympathy for each other just a little bit, but it just really grinds my gears when they want to say, oh yeah, you can be healthy at, at this X and Y. And yes, everybody's, everybody's different. Every body is different and everyone reacts in a different way, but you cannot tell me at my heaviest, I felt my best because I did not. I would be lying if I told you I did. And after a while, you convince yourself that you're comfortable and you're okay like that. Like struggling like to put on clothes sometimes, uh, tie my shoes. Like I would be in such denial that I wouldn't buy myself bigger clothes and I would just like try to squeeze in the clothes I had because well, if I can't, if I'm not getting weight, you know, I'll, I don't need to buy new clothes. And you can only do that to yourself for so long. And when I when I started doing this journey, I did this from out of self love because because I love doing as outdoor things. Oscar and I we love going hiking and camping and doing um, outdoorsy things. And when you're a bigger, when you're in a when you're in a bigger body, that makes it you know a lot more difficult. And I was tired of feeling that way. So if me losing weight is fat phobic or not being body positive then it is what it is as i've stated before losing weight is just a side effect of when you start fixing what's on the inside just moving a little bit more and really finding what you love and just staying consistent and giving yourself time and being patient with yourself with this lifestyle change it's something that i'm always gonna have to you know stay on top of because that's just life like life it will always be inconsistent life will always be be inconvenient so you just you know you just have to adapt and keep moving and if you feel like oh i already messed up this week i might as well just give up no just just get back on it it's okay give yourself some grace it'll be all right but thank you guys so much for listening i really do appreciate it and i just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for 200 subscribers i hit that this morning you guys really don't know like how much i appreciate that and i really appreciate you guys just coming back every week and just checking out my videos and if you're not into weight loss you know i have i do other commentary stuff i do reviews so yeah so if you haven't subscribed please check those out uh leave a comment what do you think about the body positive movement is lo losing weight 
you know a bad thing like let me know in the comments and like and share and i'll catch you guys on the next video bye